That's your engine. Switch off. Now roll down 10 degrees of flaps. Then they'll be below the step level and you won't step on the flaps and damage it. Think you can handle the controls yourself? Right now, sir? Do you remember everything I told you? Well, things happen a little fast, but I'm sure I remember all the important points, sir. Oh, just the important ones, huh? In that case, I think we'd better run through the next takeoff right here on terra firma. Or we can do it slowly. You said just now that you got all the important points. Listen, if you missed any point, or only half understood any point, you missed something important. Here, sit down. Now, we'll go through the whole thing again. And if there's anything you're not clear about, don't hesitate to ask me. You'll find that procedure will vary somewhat at different fields. But I want you to get one definite procedure in your mind so you won't forget anything. Now, say you're in a plane taxiing up. You're checking your brakes, Essing, using rudder, rudder only. You're looking around you all the time, and you stop at a 45 degree angle to the takeoff lane. Make that double check. Prop and high RPM. Mixture control, full rich. Gas switch on proper tank and trim tab set properly. You're checking your mags at 1500 RPM and at the same time clearing your engine for takeoff. Roll down 20 degrees of flaps. Still looking around, you see you're clear, and you're turning into the takeoff lane parallel to the T, picking up your guide points, opening your throttle gradually, smoothly, holding the ship in a straight line, gaining speed. Now you're easing forward pressure on the stick, bringing your tail up into shallow climb attitude. Now I'm thinking about torque and remembering to counteract it with sufficient right rudder. That's right. Whenever torque tends to pull your nose to the left, bring it back with extra pressure on the right rudder. Of course, too much pressure will pull your nose to the right. If this happens, ease it off a little. Now, you're holding your attitude, holding it, holding, and the plane's lifting itself off. You want to remember that. You do not pull the ship off in normal takeoffs. It's designed to lift itself. But, and get this, it lifts itself off just above stalling speed. So don't try to climb as soon as you feel her lifting. Because, mister, speed near stalling speed's no good for climbing. She's lifting. She's up. And you're leveling off to get plenty of flying speed. At the same time, you're reducing your throttle to normal climbing RPM to keep the engine from running away. When you're leveled off, you can do this and at the same time pick up flying speed. Now you have sufficient flying speed, so you're easing back pressure on the stick and you're climbing. And now you're above 150 feet, so you're checking behind you and making your 90 degree turn with traffic. You're straightening out. Again, checking behind you. You're making your 90 degree turn out of traffic. In leveling off for cruising, you're climbing about 100 feet above your cruising altitude, then easing forward on your stick and changing your prop to low RPM. You're rolling up your flaps, gradually losing your excess altitude and picking up speed as you do so. You're trimming the ship for straight and level flight. As the ship gathers speed, you're easing back on the throttle so as not to exceed cruising RPM and making the final adjustments on your trim tabs. And that's it. Does that help any? A lot, sir. I'm sure I know all the points now. Oh, that's fine. You can take it up all by yourself. Before very long. I'll be watching, and you remember everything I've been teaching you the last few days. Every word, sir, I'll remember. I go. 
Off to the blue sky yonder. Yep, this is it. Solo. There's no reason to be nervous. I just gotta remember everything my instructor told me. Gotta remember to check my brakes. Right, okay. Left, okay. Both okay. Yes, sir. That's very important. Use the rudder, not the brakes. Unless absolutely necessary, the purpose of Essing is to ensure complete vision of the field ahead. Uh-huh. Right on the nose. Stopping at 45 degree angle to the takeoff lane. Must remember the double check. First, prop and high RPM. Check. Mixture control full rich. Check. And now what? Oh, gas switch on proper tank. Check. Trim tab set for takeoff. Check. Clear my engine and check my mags before I take off. Right. Flaps roll down to 20 degrees. Check and double check. Well, that's the works. Wonder if I forgot anything. Prop, mixture, gas switch, trim tabs, mags, engine cleared, flaps down. Nope, got them all. Well, all clear. Here we go. Open throttle, gradually, smoothly. Turn in parallel to the T and picking my guide points. I'm on my way, getting speed. That's it. That's the baby. Now ease forward on the stick. Oh, things sure happen fast. Let's see, my tail's in shallow climb position now. Uh-oh, torque's pulling me to the left. Got to adjust for torque. That's it. She's easing back to the right. Ah, oh, that's better. Got to keep that nose in line. Okay, easy does it. She's lifting. She's up. Why, this is a pushover. Simple as ABC. Just remember everything and it's a cinch. Now level off to get sufficient flying speed. Reduce the throttle to normal climbing RPM. Now, Mr. Stick, I'll ease back on you. And I'm climbing. Now I'm looking around making my first 90 degree turn with traffic. Nice, smooth, medium turn. That's it. Now we straighten her out. So far, so good. Now I look around and make a 90 degree turn out of traffic. Same, easy, medium turn. Ah, uh, that's it. Here I am at the right altitude. What a pushover. Change the prop to low RPM. Roll up my flaps. Trim the ship for straight and level flight. Adjust throttle for cruising RPM. Adjust mixture control for best power. And re-trim my ship for straight and level. Congratulations, Pip, you made it. And not even one mistake. Now I haven't a thing to worry about. Except... landing. Mm -hmm.